my fire and sword. Captain Al Holland insists Delon Harbor must burn. Drop do not slaughter those who keep us back from plunder. Tell your captain my decision stands. He won't be pleased. I hope you've had as much luck as we have. Is the Drablug's leader dead? Good. I've had a bit of luck myself. I sent our militia toward the dock. They're waiting for me so we can attack the invaders. No, we need a distraction so I can get the militia into position. The invaders are unloading supplies. Setting them on fire should be plenty distracting. The supplies, I mean. Burning's too good for the invaders. My team will hit them from behind. By the time you're done burning their supplies, they'll be split up and scattered. We'll hit them on the docks while you attack from the warehouse side. We'll exterminate them like the vermin they are. You in? That is beyond me. If I have to guess, I'd say this isn't some minor piracy, but the spearhead of an invasion. But I'm no officer. I fight for a living. Anyway, burn the supplies, and that'll get their attention. Ready? The warehouses contain Velen Harbor's food supply. While I'd rather burn it than give it to the invaders, things aren't that desperate. Let's keep the destruction to a minimum. We still have a chance to take the town back. I'll order the militia to strike when we see enough smoke. If we can catch them by surprise, we'll drive the invaders toward the lighthouse. If not, well, it was an honor.
I'm rather busy right now. You did it. The militia gave a good account of themselves. We managed to trap the regatta captain in the lighthouse. I'll leave you the honor of gutting him. I'll keep the militia fighting. We'll keep the rest of the regatta off your back while you deal with their leader. Once he's dead, they'll break. I'm sure of it. We've come so far. We'll win this yet. It's what Redguards from Northern Tamriel call themselves. Velen Harbor used to trade with Redguard merchants, so they grew to call them Ragada as a sign of respect. From this point on, I'll bet it's a curse. By the gods, the lieutenant would be proud. We've killed or rounded up most of the regatta invaders. The militia won't have a problem with them anymore. Yes, we did. The Drublog fled the town as soon as they learned you'd killed their leader. We defeated the remaining regatta, other than a few holed up on their ship. We'll take care of them later. In the meantime, we made an interesting discovery. Captain Kularalda. Leader of Velen Harbor's Fists of Thalmor, the honor guard for the Sylvanar and the Green Lady, was found hiding beneath the docks, without a scratch on her. Still in her hidey hole. I put some guards on her, in case she tries to disappear. Or the civilians try to lynch her. She has an interesting tale to tell. 
You should hear it. You should. You'll see what the lieutenant and I had to deal with. I'm heading back toward the center of town to make certain everything's secure. I'll meet you in the warehouse district. Victory heals wounds as well as laughter does. And I've had a touch of both today. Of course, there's grim work ahead of us. Cleaning up after the invaders. But at least the city's ours again. You should. <laughs> Come, drink up. Get your trouble. <laughs> This is outrageous. I am a captain of the Fists of Thalmor. By what authority does a mere sergeant keep me detained? When my superiors hear what happened this day, Sergeant Lenarie will be court-martialed. We were inspecting ships when a sentry cried out, Sail ho! or something equally meaningless. It didn't make any sense. After all, we expected a ship. I told the men to stay at attention. And look like fools in front of the Green Lady? Of course I didn't sound the alarm. When the enemy attacked, I immediately saw we'd be overwhelmed. I organized a retreat and hid until reinforcements arrived. How dare you? I did what I had to do to save my command. The lieutenant's sacrifice was... unfortunate. If he'd waited, I'm sure the raiders would have taken what they could and left Velen Harbor more or less intact. He died for nothing. Captain's men are as disgusted with her as I am. With the townsfolk willing to testify against her, the Fists of Thalmor will have no choice but to cashier her. She'll be locked up until we receive word from Elden Root. My job. We were sent here to escort the Green Lady, but the town's defenses will need a bit of work first. I'm sure our paths will cross again someday. The sergeant said Belen Harbor would have fallen without you. Honored to meet you. I'm the Green Lady. The, uh, the new one. I could use your help. The Drablog clan usually side with my people in times of war. We need to learn what changed. I'm going to Drabool, the Wood Orcs' nearest settlement. If the Sylvanar arrives, I'll send him on ahead. When you can, I'd appreciate your help in Drabool. You have a spear in this pig, too, since you fought the Drablog here. To be blunt, you couldn't keep up. Don't be offended. I can travel through the forest at great speed. I'll perform a few emissarial duties here and still beat you to Drabool. Belen Harbor's been preparing for my wedding, so I have to take the time to meet with the locals. Don't worry, I'll still beat you to Drabool. He'll be as safe as his entourage can make him. Don't worry. I may embody the physical prowess of the Wood Elves, but the Sylvanar has all our spiritual strength. That's why our union is so important to my people. The Bosma were once carefree, untroubled by things beyond Belenwood. With changing times, we also changed. The Sylvanar holds the spiritual essence of the Bosma, and the Green Lady holds the physical aspects. Each generation, we renew our vows. My name is Gwaring, and I've only recently become the Green Lady. The former Green Lady, my Aunt Fenoriel, died while traveling on behalf of the Dominion's Queen. At her death, my destiny was revealed, and I began the necessary rituals. Too many, if you want to know the truth. Still, it's important for the Bosma to see the Sylvanon Green Lady married. 
It keeps us stable. I'm proud of my heritage and have renounced my worldly obligations in order to become the Green Lady. You made it, and in one piece, too. I thought my leg was going to give out crossing the water. But enough of that. Did you locate my things? Excellent. To be honest, I wasn't certain you could pull it off. Give them to me now. No, I won't. I'd rather... Oh, Bondar's ears, you've already seen them. I take care of problems, much like you. I came to Valen Harbor to eliminate a smuggler and a slaver, and I did my job. Unfortunately, the invasion hindered my escape. Yes, I did. And I guess you've killed a few people in your time, too. You may not approve of what I do, but we're on the same side right now. And I can help you do more damage to Velen Harbor's invaders if you return my tools. Many thanks. It might surprise you to know that the people who hired me aren't friends of Velen Harbor. Even worse, they didn't pay me. Yes, well, their leader didn't hire me. His lieutenants did. Ilwan, Atnazim, and Dansa worked with my target and didn't want their boss to find out. They hired me to kill him, then they tried to have me killed. I'd kill them myself, but my wound... Actually, no. Killing just one of them would send the right message to the survivor. It's not smart to eliminate potential employers, even when they're enemies. Set me free. Well, you made short work of that little task. My vengeance is complete. I thank you, and I owe you a debt. Perhaps we'll see each other again sometime. Maybe I will, but don't be too insistent about that. Keep your curiosity to yourself. Better to stay silent and be thought a fool than to speak carelessly and have your throat cut.
I hid most of my horses from the wood orcs. No mean feat. You know how horses get when they're frightened. But I have a way with animals. It's a gift. Get their hands on Gardo won't get their hands on our... Mind your own affairs. I sell armor. I don't normally use it myself.
how many cloak. Not many walk these roads lately. What brings you to Deepwoods? A traveller, eh? Then welcome to Deepwoods. Pilgrims like you came from all over Valenwood to pray at the Shrine of the Green Lady before. Not many lately, though. You haven't heard about the kidnapping? Werewolves took the Green Lady's own sister, Lanwain. And then there's the Houndsman. Go see Treethane Nilara. We could use all the help we can get. Head up to the village, please. What with all the werewolves and Lanwayan taken, we're a bit overwhelmed. Treethane Nilara's praying in the middle of the village at the Green Lady's shrine. She wanted to search for Lanwayan, but we're not strong enough to face a pack of werewolves or houndsmen. Gwaring was born and raised in Deepwoods. She's our current Green Lady. Several were born here. The Green Lady represents our physical nature, just as the Sylvanar represents our spirituality. The Sylvanar is our spiritual leader and can be either male or female. Each generation brings with it a new Sylvanar and Green Lady. Once they marry, the Bosma's feral and spiritual sides unite, bringing us balance. They're bondsmen of the Hound a mortal agent for the Daedric Prince Hercene. We've seen quite a few of them lately, up near Hercene's shrine.